Hello, kid. Just like I remembered you. Come on, we'll pack your stuff. We're going home. Back to our place. Baby, I know I walked out on you, but I got wise to myself pretty fast. And it wouldn't have been seven days if I could have got back here. But there was that war in there, remember? Please go away, Joe. Why don't you think I don't know what I lost when I walked out on you? I found out the hard way. I've been sweating it out for seven years. Stop it. Kid, you don't know it, but you hit an awful lot of beachheads with me. And I was never scared enough or bushed enough or sick enough or bad enough hurt so as I could ever stop thinking what you used to be like. Please, Joe. Let me tell it to you, kid. I thought you were dead. I mean it. That's what they told me. What a payoff. Like it was true, I believed it. Now I've got you back again. driving myself crazy, thinking you were dead. Answer me, what kind of a way is that to treat a guy? Who is this fellow? My husband's name is Mark Landis. What does he do? He's in Scap Legal Section. This is our home. But it can't be. You married to me. I divorced you, Joe. Trina, listen to me. I don't ever plan to live without you again. I can prove you belong to me any time I put my hands on you. Yes? Good evening, Deco Sands. Mrs. Landis at home. Oksama Tonari no Hyan Yorima. About him? Okay, I'd like to meet him. Good dear. Darling, Joe Barrett is here. Oh. Well, in that case, we either throw him out or give him a drink. Let's give him a drink, huh? We usually have martinis. Is that all right with you? Bourbon. Oh. Dozo. Hello, Mr. Barrett. Nice to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. You have? Well, this uh, calls for some sort of a celebration, doesn't it? Or does it? Hmm. Before we uh, start being too sophisticated, there's a few things about Trina and me you don't know. Oh, I expect not. As I understand it, Trina was one of the many white Russian girls in Tokyo before the war, fine family and education, no money. Then she went to work singing at your nightclub or gambling joint or whatever it was you operated while the police uh, turned their backs. Then in 1941, you two were married. But one way or another, that didn't work out very well. And uh, a couple of weeks before Pearl Harbor, you left the country and so Trina divorced you after the war. Now I'm proud to... I'm somewhat astonished to say she's Mrs. Landis. Was there something else? Just one thing. I'm taking her back. Well, Mr. Barrett, I imagine there's at least one thing we can agree on. We'd both like Trina to be as happy as possible. I'll buy that. You messed up her life pretty thoroughly while you had the chance. Now you're back wanting to start in all over again. Or would it be different this time? This time it will. Aren't you missing the point? Trina's happy now, as things are with me. That's a lot of detail. The most important thing hasn't even been mentioned. And what's that? She belongs to me, and she knows it. All this uh, divorce business, I wasn't here when it happened. I don't recognize it. And that's why you can't talk me out of taking her back where she belongs. Well, then we've nothing more to say, have we?
Katrina, I'll be waiting for you. I know you're a big shot, Mr. Landis. You can probably make a lot of trouble for me around here. Have me thrown out of the country. But perhaps you better do that. Because if I have enough time, well, you play it your way, I'll play it mine. Thank you.